everyone this is Elena and today I have a simple tutorial for doing watercolor smooch backgrounds you will need some dye inks, watercolor paper and a spray bottle of water and as well a heat gun to speed up the drying process so I'm starting with Canson watercolor paper and I have here a rubbery mat that uh, I can use as my surface or you can use like any other mat that you don't mind um, having that's non porous having some ink on it so i'm using some paper tray inks and i'm using right now aqua mist and new leaf i'm just um sponging some ink well directly with my ink pad onto the mat and i'm spraying spritzing with my water bottle then with my finger i kind of blend that line there as well when you do this technique it depends what kind of water color paper you use the quality of the water paper so with some, some you get brighter colors and more saturated look and with some like this one you get more lighter colors and uh, kind of that pastel look so with this one I'm going like few times I'll just apply ink first I'm gonna dry this layer if you want lighter color you can leave it as it is or you can apply some more ink I'm going uh, I will be going back with um, the aqua mist ink after I dry this and I'll add some more ink so this uh, Canson watercolor paper I'll have link it up, uh, linked up on into on my blog um, it's of lesser quality than the next one I'll be using which is Arches uh, cold press watercolor paper and you will notice that it gets easily saturated and then like the look is not what I was looking for actually Maybe you will like it, maybe not. But now I'm going with the aqua mist again. I'm just applying some ink onto my mat. And this is Imagine Craft, um, craft Mat. So I'm applying some water again. And um, I'll kind of blend that color, spread it around. And then just squish my, or smoosh as I call it my uh, piece of watercolor paper on top of it to add that ink so you will see it's again lighter color so I'm like putting it again down to apply color onto different spot of my panel and I'm drawing it again with uh, my heat gun So this is the Hero Arts Wagner heat gun that I'm using and I found it to work best uh, because it's very, uh, the drawing is very fast with him especially when it comes to embossing powders and I used to use the Ranger one which is more uh, quiet but it takes a little bit longer with this one, this one is a little bit louder but it's very quick and very effective so I have that dried and I'm going with uh, Ocean Tides. I want it to do a little bit darker. So I'm using Ocean Tides uh, ink pad from Paper Tray Ink again. I'm uh, adding that color onto my craft mat. And then I'll just spray some more water. And then apply, I'm not blending it, I'm just adding my paper on top of it and kind of rubbing it on top. And just waiting a little bit so the paper absorbs that color because I wanted something darker. So there we have that. I'm just wiping my um, color from the mat and I'll dry. So if this is the look that you're going for, that's great. If you want something brighter, you would like to use higher quality watercolor paper that I'll be using in the next step. So that's uh, my panel. You can turn it around and then stamp on top of it, emboss, and so on. So here's my, um, this is the Arches watercolor paper. It's rougher surface. The Canson is a little bit smoother and it's a little bit heavier weight. So I'll be using that one for the next step. I'm using Harvest Gold. Actually, I think it's Sunrise something. I'll have all the supplies linked to my blog post. And as well, I'm using Raspberry Fizz, a little ink cube. And I'll just apply that on the sides of um, 
the summer sunrise that's the name of the color that I used and then add spritz it with water so I'm spritzing it now with that water and then like I'm going for one more spritz when the bottle decided to leak and make a bunch of mess but I just pick it up with a little bit of um, baby wipe and then I just swoosh, smoosh that watercolor paper into the puddle of color so I just um, press it down nicely and see the colors are brighter and that paper absorb more of the color there's still a lot of color left on that paper so I'm going again on different side and I think that I like this one I'm just gonna clean my mat and then I'm gonna using the heat gun I'm gonna dry this panel first I'm gonna actually do the side so uh, that puddle of water is um, not there so I'm speeding it up here a little bit with the drawing so next I want to do like a little bit more splash of dar darker color and I'm using pure poppy which is bright red and you will notice when you hit dry it's kinda the colors are not as bright it gets a little bit lighter so it spreads that color I just apply a little bit and I just uh, kinda blend it with my finger mix it up with the water and then just smoosh my panel into the puddle of color so I think that I like that and now I'm gonna dry it and you notice that the color getting lighter and a little bit blending better so next step now I'm gonna convert this panel into a card so I decided to just do a simple uh, sentiment and I'm using the thank you sentiment from the latest hero arts my monthly hero kit which has, says thank you and I'm using my Minimisti. I position my stamps where I want them to be. And then just pick them up with my with the lid of the Misty. Next I'm using the embossing tool. Now I'm speeding up the video a little bit. So and applying stamping that sentiment three uh two or three times. So I have better coverage because the texture of the watercolor paper is a little bit rough. So I want that uh ink to have good coverage onto my uh, watercolor paper and then I'm applying some white embossing powder so there's um, my panel and then I'm just removing the excess that's on the sides and then with the heat gun I'll heat that up to melt the embossing powder so I think that's good now I'm taking back my Misty I'm putting my panel and securing with the magnets again and I'm applying the Versamark ink now because I'm using the Misty that sentiment will be exactly in the same place so I'm stamping basically over the embossed sentiment so I'm doing a couple times and then I'm again going uh, with my white embossing powder and heating up melting that embossing powder So there we have that and then I'll go for one last time uh, using my Misty I'll stamp that sentiment again and emboss it again. So and of course I'm doing using the embossing tool so I don't have some stray um, embossing powder over my panel and it comes out white. So I'm doing it twice and then I'll apply some more embossing powder and emboss it again and with that we have nice and thick layer or sentiment of embossing powder powder on the sentiment so I'm uh, heat setting it for one last time and there we have it next I'll just cut my panel using uh, the stitched rectangle dies from Little Inker Designer Designs and using foam, uh, foam tape uh, I'll adhere my panel onto white card base with that basically my card is done I'll just um, add some embellishments and uh, we'll be good to go
So I'm just removing the backing, positioning my panel, and then adding some stamping up. Um, I forget what are those. Those are like enamel, enamel dots. So to add a little bit uh, interest to my card. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.